up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Inside the Vinyl. I'm your host, Tim Bianconi. If you would, go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel below. That would be greatly appreciated. If you could also hit that notification bell so you can be notified anytime we put out new content, that would be appreciated also. So this is part two of my MXPX unboxing series. Uh, so on November 4th, uh, MXPX reissued uh, three of their albums on vinyl, um, and I went ahead and purchased a couple of them. Uh, on our last video, we opened up Life in General, which you see behind me here. This time, we are going to open up the follow-up to Life in General, and that would be Slowly Going the Way of the Buffalo. So this album was released on June 16th of 1998. Uh, it was the first album as part of their deal with A&M Records. Uh, still released, it still has Tooth and Nail, uh, the Tooth and Nail imprint on it, or at least the original did. Uh, but it was released as uh, their deal with A&M Records. Uh, produced by the same guy that produced Life in General, uh, a guy's name is Steve Kravak or Kravak. I'm not really sure how to say that. Uh, this album actually did get on the Billboard charts. It got as high as number 99, and it actually went to number two on the Contemporary Christian charts, uh, and has been certified gold by the Record, and Associ Record Industry Association of America. So a pretty successful album uh, for a punk band at the time. So. Uh, and apparently the album I read on Wikipedia, the album was inspired by a fan writing to the band saying that the band was changing and slowly going the way of the Buffalo. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look and see what we have here. So here we go. MXPX slowly going the way of the Buffalo front cover, back cover with pictures of the band playing as well as the track list. All right. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about these, uh, these vinyl issues, man. I've wanted these on vinyl for a long time. But unfortunately, anytime I've seen like original issues of these or whatever, it's been, it's been, you know, out of my price range uh, as far as, you know, what I can afford to pay. Let me try not to bend the record here or, the, or bend the cover. It wasn't as easy to open up as the uh, Life in General was, unfortunately. But here we go. All right. So here we go. Without the cellophane, uh, front cover, back cover. And these are actually being released on, it looks like, uh, the Universal uh, imprint, you know, or A&M uh, and Universal. I don't see Tooth and Nail or anything listed on here anywhere. So that's that's kind of interesting. All right, so let's open this up and see what we got. All right. So we pull everything out of here. Uh, we've got uh, much like Life in General. Uh, and it looks pretty much the same as a Life in General insert. But uh, we've got the lyrics to side one and the lyrics to side two. Uh, with some liner notes and some different things down here in the bottom corner. And like I said on Life in General, I just ordered the basic black vinyl. There are like three or four different options. Uh, there's some splatter vinyl and some other colored vinyl and some different things. Uh, I really wanted these records. I just want to be able to have these records so I can listen to, you know, these albums on vinyl. Um, excuse me. So I was perfectly happy with the 180 gram black vinyl. And now I can see why. Because that's very beautiful black vinyl with a cool... Uh, Slowly going the way of the Buffalo MXPX sticker in the middle. Uh, same with side two. You know. So again, you know, much like life in general, very, very simple packaging. And I don't know that you would expect much more from a punk rock record. Um, you know. I like gatefolds and everything else, but it seems like it'd be a little weird and out of place on a punk rock record. So that's just my opinion. All right. So there we have it. Slowly going the way of the Buffalo. So let's talk about this album for a minute. So, Life in General was the album that introduced me to MXPX, but this is my all-time favorite MXPX album, and one of my favorite punk rock albums, at least 90s punk rock. Um, you know, it's a little, I, I would say, even though it was our major label debut, I would say it's a little dirtier and maybe a little less produced than, than Life in General. You know, uh, that's just my opinion. It just has a bit of a grittier sound to it, which I really like. And again, it's another album like Life in General. It's just like start to finish, like, what do you even, you know, list as like key songs or whatever, because they're all great. But it starts with Under Lock and Key, then Tomorrow's Another Day, uh, then the radio single, I'm Okay, You're Okay, uh, Party, My House, Be There, you know, just, just fun little songs, Cold and All Alone, Downfall of Western Civilization, Invitation to Understanding, Self-Serving with a Purpose, Get With It. I mean, so many good tunes on here. And I mean, beyond the ones I named, everything else on this album is great too. Those just happen to be like my top favorites. Um... I also saw them for the first time on this tour. I saw them at a little place in Jacksonville we used to have called The Milk Bar. A uh, small little place, great for punk rock shows. Uh, it was my first time seeing them. And it was kind of weird because whoever the promoter was, I think, did promoting for the local Christian station here. Um, and they used to do like rock and metal nights and stuff on Friday. But it was weird because it was like MXPX were the headliner, obviously. And they had an opening band with them. It was, it was like a punk rock band from California, from the West Coast somewhere. 
you know, they showed up in a van that had like skateboards and everything else just like all hung up in the van and stuff like total, you know, total like independent, you know, DIY punk rock group or whatever. But then in the middle, I guess there was a local band that played and it was a local Christian death metal band, like had no place whatsoever and didn't fit the bill at all. You know, and like some guy coming out with a Bible, like saying like, you know, like, so God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And that was like the whole show. And it was like, I was like a can or two of Foster's into the night, you know, after the opening band and ready just to get into the pit and rip and had to sit there 45 minutes of, and you know, I like some death metal, but this was some of the worst shit I've ever heard my entire life. So it was just like a weird fit, but then MXPX came on, kicked ass. It was awesome. And I've seen them five or six times since then. Always put on great shows and they have always been one of my favorite uh, punk rock bands of that era. So again, slowly going the way of the Buffalo. Check it out. If you don't want to buy the vinyl, you can find it on all your you know online outlets and CDs and everything else. So check it out. You won't be disappointed. Just a great, 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 fun you know pop punk band uh, from the state of Washington. So that's all I've got for you this time. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel below. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we put out new content. I've got the rest of my Inside the Vinyl series where we open up new releases. Sometimes they're reissues. Sometimes they're new albums. Sometimes they're box sets. Sometimes they're even CDs. It's just depending on what's coming out. Uh, I've also got my Lost Classic series as well as my live album series. I've also got some live footage from some different concerts and festivals over the last few years. And some mediocre disc golf coverage starring some mediocre players like myself. So like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Peace out. <laughs> there you go, boy.